Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to show you me working out yet another of the GED worksheet of the month. And as you know, if you've been following along on the channel here, this month we're conquering science, so watch the next video. Okay, so here we go. Number two. Now, number two, I want to point out a couple of things. The, the first thing I want to point out is the skill of evaluation. Excuse my writing there. But the skill of evaluation, because let, well, let me read this question first and then we'll kind of jump into this skill. The diagram to the right, so here's the diagram to the right, presents photosynthesis, a process by which plants make food. Which element in the diagram appears to be the most essential to the process? So here's the diagram. And remember uh, from the last video, I told you whenever you get a diagram, make sure you look at it. You know, so, you, you know, here's a flower. Uh, here's a sun. Uh, here's a carbon dioxide. Here's water. Here's the, the roots, leaves, flower, the whole picture. So, so what you're seeing is all the elements that go into this uh, plant uh, making food um, and also, you know, essentially what we would say growing. So this question, though, the question says which element in the diagram appears. See, this is why it is so key, uh, as I uh, try to guide you to do, is to really analyze what it is you're reading. Um and one of the things that makes analyzing what you're reading is hard is because you're up against the time clock. And so a lot of uh, students really get worried about spending too much time on a question. But here's the thing. If you have a process for the time that you spend on the question then you don't have to worry as much about the time. If you're just reading back and forth and stressing out and not really being clear and not really understanding what you're even thinking about, yeah, then that's going to waste time and then you're going to really end up at the end of the test not having completed everything. But when you have a process on how you approach each question and you spend that kind of time, then the more you do that in your preparation before you take the test, the more you practice that process, the the quicker that process is going to happen, the more sure you're going to be about the things you see. So when you see this question here, the first thing that I told you to do in the last video, and I'm telling you here, is you're going to just look at this diagram, make sure you understand what's going on it, and then you're going to go to the question, right? So so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to you're going to uh, view the diagram. Then the next thing you're going to do is identify the question, and if you watch my math videos, you know I'm very big on this point. So you get to number two. You look at the diagram. You process it. You view it. You see what it is. Then you go identify the question. So here's the question. Which element in the diagram appears to be the most essential? So it doesn't say which element in the diagram is the most essential. It, it doesn't say which should be the most essential. It says appears. So this is calling upon that skill then of evaluation. So now you're evaluating. So now you go back to what you already did. Now when you look at this and it says appears, which one appears? Well, water, it's down here, it's kind of small. Carbon, you know, seems important. It's kind of sweeping up, but it's just going into that one leaf. Um, or is there, uh, the sunlight is the biggest piece you have uh, oxygen here too, which is very important, but appears. This is what seems to be from sight. So from sight, the sun, look how big it is. Look at, the, it has three different uh, uh, rays going down. You know, on here you only have one ray. On here you have two rays. Over here you have two rays, but here you have three rays coming down. So when you're evaluating something of something that appears to be then your logical conclusion is going to be C, the sunlight. And so again, when you have a process of your, when you approach a problem and you view the chart, you know, and read the problem, and then you identify the question, and then that third step is then you start to evaluate 
what is going on in both the picture and the text, or sometimes it's just text, but you begin to evaluate. Then you have a process. So now if you're spending a little bit more time, that's okay because you're doing this more time in your prep time. See, we're in this video here. We can spend as much time as we want <clears throat> in this video, and you can spend as much time on a question as you want when you're preparing. But when you start following these steps, over and over again, and this is why it's important to have good, solid GED prep material so that you can at least, over the course of 20, 30 questions, do this. View it, idea, evaluate. View it, idea, evaluate. View it, idea, evaluate. The same thing we're going to do down here in the next video. We're going to view it. You know, We're going to look at this chart here, and then we're going to look at this text here. We're going to ID it. We're going to find what the question is about these two things. And then we're going to begin to do the evaluation based upon what we've viewed and what we've ID'd. And once you start doing that same process over and over again, then you don't have to worry about the time you're spending. Because I will tell you, once you do this process over 20, 30 questions, you are going to be in a strong position to do this quicker once you get to the actual test because you have a process. And then the other thing is, is that when you're really looking at the GED test, it's really a reading skill test. It's not about science. So no one asked you, you know, what is, you know, what does a flower produce? Oh, it produces oxygen. Well, that, that wasn't a question because it's not a science test. It's a reading skills test about science. So they show you all of this and then ask you a reading skill-based question, a peer's evaluation that was a skill being tested here, um, and they show you that kind of question. So again, if you process view, ID, eval, view, ID, eval, then if you do that every single time over the course of 20 or 30 problems, that is a more effective way to prepare uh, for the GED test than, you know, oh, I'm going to study a little bit of biology. Oh, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to study a little chemistry. Oh, I'm going to go over there and do a little physics. And no, it, it's a reading skill test about a variety of science subjects. Hope this has been helpful to you. If you like this video, Please like it. If you want to know when more videos like this are coming out, make sure you press subscribe um, and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.